Hey there, everyone. Snowcow playing Mega Man 7. Now, we don't see all of these bosses' elements, so you're expected to figure out the boss weakness with their facial expression alone. Never mind that everyone's face is covered except for that one. <laughs> now that I look at this, that's kind of funny. Jockman finally answers the question, what if Dustman was actually Buzz Lightyear, but with giant- No, Buzz Lightyear had also giant feet, but had a giant claw hand. Welcome to the world of Petricide. Finally got FC, and no one says that you can aim it diagonally. Dr. Light has a lot of things to say, and none of it is useful. Check out that guy. Is all guns. 100 degrees. V. No, 100 volt. Is that a whole lot? Why has someone invented robotic roaches? I don't know. Someone thought that would be kind of cool, I guess. I want to get this scroll. Oh, hey, Mega Man doesn't turn red when he summons his puppo. Now that's what I call video game advancement. Honestly speaking, this is probably as pretty as Mega Man games are gonna get. Even taking into consideration that, you know, there's a game on the PlayStation. Even with that in mind, this is probably as nice as this is the elevator segment. Like, suddenly Capcom's like, what if we did Streets of Rage? You know, what with, you know, being involved with the Rectogram and all that. Check out that boiling magma. It looks pretty scary. The cockroaches are kind of rumbling. You can use your freezing laser on this. <laughs> so, yeah, weapons are often conceived as tools that are used just in the environment in cool ways. And that's how you get a mess. Alright, S rank Mega Man, here we go, I'm gonna jump on this trash. It's melting, but a heat doesn't transfuse through... Well, that, the, the other didn't plop! That, the other didn't plop! That's not my fault! The, wow, Drunk Man's so tall, his head goes out of the little scene they got there. That's kind of funny. The pattern, so it's better for me? I guess that's better. So now you're gonna fall? No? Wh why? What's... <laughs> like, I'm not sure if there's another bonus thing in this little environment, which is why I'm gonna return again, even though I keep dying in ways that are clearly unfair. Like, it just did it. Like, I set up the pattern where it will always fall and where I can go in it, and it didn't. So do I need to wait here? Like, if I had gone on the block there, I would have died. This is just a weird block. It only goes... And there isn't anything. Wait, that, that, that dinged. What did it ding against? Does the ice thing just ding on every wall? Oh, okay, it does. Man, I was sure there was another secret somewhere in this underground palace furnace area. Oh, Rush is angry. And he can dig through metal because he's a powerful beast. <laughs> Whoa! There was a big prize. So yeah, the big screw is worth like five dollars. It's a hundred dollar. Well, I'm at now at 180. So maybe I'm at 150. I, oh, you get a one up here too. All right, I get one head in exchange for all the head values I've lost in this tumultuous smear campaign of blocks. Just not block. If you're a block, that's supposed to fall down the chute. Please fall down your assigned chute. Like, I don't think that's asking for too much. I don't know where I'm at at this point. Cannons just have fine. Oh, I'm going to roll. And this is where the paths would meet. This looks like a nightmare indeed. You're kind of that guy from Iceman. Except you actually work on a pattern and you're very slow. Alright, uh, that's exciting. And we've got that eel sub-boss from Launch Octopus somehow found its way here in the past. But it is significantly smaller, so maybe it's just it's the baby. 
It's the baby of what is going to eventually be the only fire that got trash on their head, like in real life. I appreciate this dedication to keeping my battle robot enemy escapade realistic. So every time in this game, every time there's a weird ledge like this, it's like you, you gotta jump on it and you gotta rush certain- you have to. Because you don't know. Rush! Bark at me, please! You got a moving nose. Oh, well, he's digging. But it might not be excited. Check it out. One dollar. One dollar dog here. Paid for himself. Never mind the fact he got me across pits and by that. Finally, Rush paid for I should have gotten that money. I didn't. All these robots playing a song. So I recall Junk Man being pretty rough. But I also recall Freeze Man being pretty rough, and I manage. Oh, you're not a Dust Man, you're a Morph Moth. Alright, how's it going? So, he has very long invincibility time. He's, he has that attack. He's like, check out my sweet cube! And then he's got like, I hate cubes! And then there's his weapon. You get, yeah, he's the shield weapon guy. It doesn't hurt you though, it just freezes you in place, which I appreciate. It's check it out! I've got dance! Like, the bosses in this game have so many moves. Like, it's amazing. I love that. More moves, please. I can't. I'm using the power of luck to just not get bonked. Alright, here's the Cosmic Cube! It's made of trash! Dang it, and it sticks around for a long time, and uh, no one likes it. That's kind of cool though, you have to- uh, but he throws a trash, so it's not that cool. Don't throw trash at boy robots, please. That's just probably illegal, I don't know. You've got the stomp. Mad stomps, face man, the chin of an owl, and the gut of a bear. Oh, that's, that's not true. Dude looks pretty fit for a robot that's literally like a zombie. Cause like, he's made of junk, right? So... Oh, what? That's how I die. Oh, that's just sad. But yeah, like, he's made of parts. He's a Frankenstein. How many lives do I have left? Still one, though, but uh, I should not have died there. I really should not. I... That's... But, like, that's the thing, though. His big trash cube? It's, it's fun to make fun of, because it's just a big cube of trash. But it's, it's, it's kind of hard to judge, like, it's big. It's a very big attack, like, look at that, it's like... Uh, and if he gets you, like, he's gonna hit you twice. Like, that's just how it is. I think he can slide underneath that, maybe? I don't know. Uh, all I know is I'm taking a lot- I have an E-Tank. I don't want to use it against him, but, like, this is- The fight is just going so well that... That might just end up happening. Why did I jump right into him? Like, what did I think was gonna happen? Check it out, I dodged his stomp. Doesn't matter though, I'm still gonna get hurt like a butt. I'm almost dead already. Yo, I jumped over it. See that? The cue to victory is if you're able to jump over it. Well, it's right next to me. That's rude. Wait, it's kind of. Ah, I was supposed to slide. I wasn't holding down, so he didn't slip. Oh, I, oh, you're throwing me off here, but oh, what? Oh, what am I doing? I probably would have less trouble with this boss if I stopped playing like a complete lunatic. Maybe. Ah, man. <sighs> Both time, I was like, almost there too. That's what hurts. Just losing the fight, whatever. That happens. But losing... And like, this is a game where when you get the boss weaknesses, they turn into complete and utter, like, super jokes. They're not just jokes. They are like, YouTube prank caliber jokes. It's sad. But... How do you dodge that? Like, I just can't figure that one out. Oh, sweet ju- Like, I mean to be a by a guy who jumps against the wall. Like, he's like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump against that wall. That's gonna impress my end. Like, no. I held down, dang it. And we're supposed to slide. But you didn't. Like, jerk. Then I land when there is a plan somewhere that's saying hello. 
I mean, jumping of jumping the cube is super mega satisfying. Don't let your grandma tell you otherwise. Also, you slide underneath this. I mean, I guess I like that. Dang it. That uh, I've been dying a lot in a way because now I know how to deal. Like, I've dealt with each of his individual attacks individually. Not all in a row, which is what would have been useful. But I've managed to deal with all of them on an individual level. And now he's all split into pieces. His death is honestly, for a bot, extremely gory and very graphic and probably not appropriate if you are the age of Mega Man, which is probably like 30 years old at this point. Like, there's been seven games. <laughs> he's been through a lot. That's just like the mainline games. That's not all the other games, which are like the Game Boy games are canon. The Jung Shield is the shield weapon, right? Guy face beard man! Yes, but a spear! Oh, oh, they're not even spears, they're more like squares! Dr. Light is a robotic audit, and he doesn't even know geometry! But now, Mega Man's a sweet shade of gray. So, the only upgrade I got today was the S. I didn't get even real upgrades. I got the big money, though. Big money, big problems.